pay for some lessons, get psychology sessions, you're determined to get yourself better, pay 400 quid for a driver, play with balls worth a fiver, wear the top of the range, Pringles sweater, you know who you are. The thing is, it's sad but yet true, there are dozens like you who when playing the game tend to forget that golf's no about fancy waterproof suits or spending fortunes improving your game. If you win or get beat to success or defeat, it's about, it's about being able to treat them the same. It's not the shots that you take, it's the friends that you make, the camaraderie with your fellow man. So be it wind, rain or sun, just go out, have fun. Enjoy your game while you still can. So all you golfers out there who throw your clubs in the air and are continually losing the heed, if you want a quiet life and keep in with your husband or wife, stay in and do the dishes instead. Enjoy your golf. Right, Malcolm, I'm about to kick things off in East Lothian on a course I've never played before, Craigie Law. Anything you can tell me about Craigie Law? I love it, 20 years old. Um, not quite Lynx, but plays Lynxy, sitting right beside Kilspindy. Yes. Beautiful Lynx golf course. Um, really, really nice design. I, I think you really enjoy it. The views are stunning, and yeah, the yeah. people here are just really, really, really friendly. Um, Scottish, the Scottish, the senior, Scottish seniors, European tour, played, played here a couple yeah, of times yeah. as well. That says a lot. So you know, you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy it. And it's owned by the land's owned by the Earl of Weems, and they have a big. These families have big influences in golf because he owns the land here and at Kilspindy and Long Nidri. And way back then, Mary Queen of Scots days, she would yes. have come and stayed at the big house. So right. This is where she started playing golf, she going back to our cradle of golf. Onto this land. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. You'll enjoy it, stunning, stunning views. Well, I look forward to it. it. I must admit, it looks impressive from up here. Some great yeah. views and uh, not a bad day for it either. No, beautiful day. I'm getting on that first tee. So yeah. you, can, you can drive the green, but yeah, risk you lay up and chip up. Risk and reward. We shall Thinking see. Thinking man's golf. We shall see. <laughs> Massive feature of the course I'm quick learning because I've been in three already is uh, the bunkers and they're pretty damn big as well. That's again, that's that's taller than me. Oh, just, just out. But yeah, massive feature of the course so far. Fairways are fairly forgiving, but they've got to be because uh, like I said, coming into the greens, Massive changes in elevation and some big bunkers that you've got to try and avoid. Or have a decent wedge game. There's a great feel about Craigie Law. It's a very welcoming club, almost a laid back atmosphere, and the golf course itself, well, it sits in a pretty enviable location, as you can see. It really is a joy to play, and uh, I suppose, what more can you ask from a golf course? I'll tell you what I've noticed here, no matter, I've just hit a massive drive, which I'm thrilled about, but I got 54 wedge, and I've just gone back again and picked up the seven iron, because on every shot approach in, it sort of requires, I think, the kind of, uh, the master in this chip and run. And I think that's too heavy and sit down, ball, sit down. Sit down, hold on. Ah, oh, she's off the back. Massive drive off the back. Perfect. Do you know what, it's a typical shot where you're anywhere else and um, it's 109 and it's a fairly straightforward shot, but I reckon this is almost like developed into a three club wind. If you've not played golf in Scotland or Lynx golf, then there the kind of big differences are that the wind is massive and it's the exposure again, fourth or first is just over that brow, we can't see it. Huge difference in the way that wind blows and how it affects the club choice. So, you know, 109, 
probably for me would be maybe a 54 wedge, uh, 50 degree wedge, something like that. I'm playing a nine iron. And uh, again, you pop this one up and it'll just hover. It won't go anywhere. And again, it's the, it's, it's the massive appeal for me of this a, a Lynx Golf. I love that into that blue sky and it's, it's going close. Not enough club, died of death. Again, nine iron. Flipped it up to iron, it did exactly what I said you can't do, and then it just hovers in the wind and then it kills it, it's dead. But I just love the way, Craigie Law has been a bit of a surprise, to be honest with you, it's the first time I've played it. it it's, a, it's a good challenge, but a fair one in that I think you've got a fair bit of room off the tee, which again, for average golfers is nice. Uh, but when you're hitting shots into the greens, you've got a couple of things you've got to consider. Obviously the wind makes it tougher, but then like I said, it's them run-ins run rather, big bunkers, You've got to have a decent short game to score around here, but it's been uh, it's been impressive and a, and a good challenge. And like I said, a surprise as well. now and again on every putt that's the other thing about the course uh, some great changes in terms of uh, both elevation and swings on the uh, on the putting surfaces not hit it up the hill uphill thought it would swing a little bit more as well that's one of those uh, ones that you don't really want two foot with a break in it firm and yeah there's a decent four into that breeze but uh yeah like i said real notable feature is just these changes all throughout not just you know when you're coming in it's on the greens as well uh asking you questions i like that kill spindy's just over the wall uh just seen two players going down in their plus fours and that's the kind of thing and, and hickory clubs the only time you'll see that is in scotland in reality right this is three clubs and that's as long as you don't uh stick it too far in terms of flighting it too far up in the air and that has cut across it and it's going to hit the wall ah uh, not that bad another example change in elevation and again if you look across you'll see those uh, humps and bumps so you not only have you got to get the club right in terms of uh, yardage you've got to land it in the right place because you hit one of them I hit on the top here, it wasn't the greatest shot, and you kick towards this wall. Texas wedge. Keep the ball on the floor at the minute if you can. Nine in, I'm liking Craigie Law. I'll tell you what, someone was bold here, you know. To build a golf course in the middle of an absolute golf mecca in terms of what it was competing with. I think it was 2001 we said in the intro about when this was built and uh, they've done a grand old job to be fair. Real change up on 11, uh, obviously front nine we drove through, you get into a little housing estate, played nine, uh, 10 rather, little par 3. Real change to this one, you're exposed out, if you just have a look over there, the whole fourth of Firth, you're exposed to the breeze. It's got a real linksy feel to it this hole i don't know what else is to come with there's a bit of a change to it but uh beautiful golf hole par five but really exposed i think i've put that too high go ball yeah uh, it's not bad you know it's not bad such a difficult putt again 
it's over the brow and then down and starts to gather get down now get down now get down too tentative how nice is that view over there the sun's coming out what a slippery one that is don't leave that one shorthand bold I just keep this view I don't know why it just seems more apparent let's say uh, holes 11 through to 14 and as far as being 19 years old this stretch feels as though it's been laid long before that I don't know that you see sort of aged walls that cut between a number of the holes or what what gives it a slightly different feel it's slightly more exposed it seems a bit more traditional linksy and uh, I've loved it come up short on this one though needs a uh, needs a decent wedge into the breeze again I should be reaching for that seven iron I think yeah, I should have reached for the 7-iron. Look at that drifting away on that wind. Oh, and a bit of a kick. It's a massive slope on that. I think it needs pace and line. Go on, go on, go on, go on. great start to the trip and my what will be a tour of Scotland in the weeks ahead and if this is anything to go by it's going to be fantastic first time I've played Craigie Law uh, great mix up of holes great variety of holes this is the 17th I'm stood on now and a fantastic par three and it was really really impressive I think what happens is it's in amongst like I said it's competing with some big dogs around here and it's priced incredibly well it offers some great value in an area where like i said you can pay a few quid for a round of golf so in my opinion really surprised me surpassed my expectations let's say that and uh, an incredibly good golf course and i can't believe like i said it's not even 20 years old yet if you're going to come and film on the airship coastline then uh, there's only one place that this video can start from 